Hi, I'm a Mac. <laughs> no! All right, we'll start over. Let's do this right. So when I wrote these down, I started to think, boy, they're more different than you'd expect just by sticking an un in front. How so? Well, they don't seem to really, the definitions don't seem to have all that much in common. You know, it's not like this one uses label training data to generalize labels to new instances, and this one uses unlabeled training data to generalize labels to new instances. Like, I would think that you'd have the definition of one, you just stick an extra un in there. Well, that's kind of true. Right, so you if if you if you do some data description and uh, make sense out of unlabeled data, and then I give you a new piece of data, somehow using that description, you would know how to describe it. Maybe I mean there's definitely some some unsupervised learning algorithms that do some amount of generalization, mm -hmm. but um, but it's it's not as it's not as unified. I think in, in in some sense, the concern here is that unsupervised learning is just not as unified a problem or as well defined or crisply defined a problem as supervised learning. Is. Oh, I think that's definitely true. Here's the game. You've got two people. These two people are criminals. Oh, no. Are they smooth criminals? One of them is. You're terrible. Okay. So we this is Charles Isbell. Plus four. Ooh. <laughs> and I'm Michael Littman. Plus two. Wait, why am I worth less? Minus two, stay on topic. All right, well, it's my job to introduce our mini course on reinforcement learning. Plus one? Hmm, 